those sweet toothed who missed their dessert, the afternoon has a surprise. In nearby Montalcino, a honey festival is in full swing. No one is sure what to expect, but it all begins with a lesson from local chef Gianfranco Gianetti on making a sweet bread with honey, pan dolce. It's supposed to be a chance for Giancarlo and Katie to take a back seat. Is uh, uh, so and so uh, new. Before uh, there wasn't uh, that type of uh, raising agent. Yes. But as Gianfranco's English falters, they both get involved. Uh, Natural yeast. Natural yeast. That is, uh, it was being uh, uh, from uh, animals, little animals, battery uh, uh, and similar yeah. that live. Uh, like all good Tuscan chefs, Gianfranco's method is entirely hands-on. What's happening is uh, you put eight eggs, you don't beat the eggs because otherwise they get, the egg they get very, very emotional. So uh, then you add all the flour and what you do, you work with your hand, you see? With your hand, with, sorry. Thank you. No problem, chef. With two Italian chefs together, rivalry is always a risk. <laughs> What's he doing essentially? He's not killing all the air bubble, but actually he's increasing the air inside the, 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 the mix. The mix. Technique. Way of doing it. Human touch. The goods itself makes a great dish. Not a great chef, a great dish. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> See, I made it. I made it. I made it. <laughs> While Gianfranco finishes off the honey pan dolce, the students head off to find out what this honey festival is all about. A climb through the town brings them to the castle, where they find every conceivable type of honey product is for sale. There's even a see-through beehive to show where it all comes from. Basically, the structure of the, of the beehive is a stimulation to the, to the bee to make extra honey. So we are basically in, in influencing their life to make extra honey for us. Giancarlo's learning a lot too. And another thing which is very important, which I never realized, the bees will known for wax and not for the honey. The honeys come later. A shopping opportunity follows. This festival has something for everyone. A perfect Tuscan product for Ruth and Mervyn. Vegetarian salami. <laughs> It's um, salami made chocolate. out of chocolate and nuts. Chocolate and nuts salami. Some healing soap for health worker Janet. A natural antibiotic that bees make to keep their hives healthy. And it's uh, uh, an antiseptic. So it's very good if you have sore skin. Very, very um, healing. We have to use alcohol at work, which is that much stronger, but it's very good for children. And tantalizing new ingredients for Katie to experiment with. It's, um, a herb syrup, it's not actually alcoholic. Yeah. And we tried um, uh, a peach liqueur with honey, which we thought would be nice for a sweet if you would just soak sponges in it, that'd make a lovely sweet, or a semi fredo would have It's to go in my flowers on my windowsill. A dark bee. <laughs> The evening is set to end with a special honey banquet. As the sun sets, they all climb the tower to the ramparts, lured by the promise of memorable views. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. At the top of the tower, Katie wishes she had worn trousers. Oh, you seem so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Modesty. I had to go and wear these. Montemiasa. Montemiasa. Oh, really? Oh. Montemiasa. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's okay.